Sunny skies are the usual for Central Texas, but in countries like China, men's air pollution can sometimes shroud their skies. Yeah, Fox's Mayor Ann Rafferty has more on how Beijing reduced greenhouse gas emissions to make sure the skies were clear going into the Olympics. Air pollution levels in China were so bad, smog made it almost impossible to see buildings and even the sun. But efforts to reduce harmful emissions in time for the Winter Olympics means blue skies for athletes. Beijing's air quality really reached its worst point around 2012, 2013, and that's when public concern, public outrage about the issue reached a boiling point. This is what much of Beijing looked like when it hosted the Summer Olympics back in 2008, a far cry from today's conditions. To get here, the Associated Press says Chinese officials enforced tighter restrictions on factories burning coal, reduced the number of vehicles allowed on roadways, improved methods for collecting and reporting air quality data, and more. When there is uh, an important episode, like an important uh, political event in Beijing or currently uh, the Winter um, Olympics, the government will still um, order a shutdown of, of many of those largest uh, emitters um, to ensure that you don't have a flare up, a smog episode uh, during that period. On top of all this, Olympic officials say this year's Winter Games are on track to be carbon neutral, removing more carbon dioxide from the atmosphere than they admit, thanks to eco-friendly venues powered by renewable energy. But China still has a long way to go, according to the World Health Organization. Last year's average air pollution levels for Beijing were more than six times the recommended limit. Marianne Rafferty, Fox News.